So I was doing a little research in preparation for today, and um, I grabbed my SEMA book just to kind of take a look at some things. SEMA stands for Conveyor Equipment Manufacturers Association. So here's what SEMA is. It's basically a bunch of conveyor equipment manufacturers who come together at least annually and set some standards on conveyor design, uh, write some practices that are kind of the, the best practices for the industry. And they their, their, their main objective is to help designers and builders create belt conveyors um, that are and build and design belt conveyors that are successful. Now, some of the things that they talk about Martin Engineering might kind of have a little bit different of opinion on, but for the most part, uh, we refer to SEMA. We're a member of SEMA. In fact, our past president and the primary author of our foundations book is also the chief editor of the most recent SEMA book. So I was thumbing through my SEMA book the other day thinking um, about this and I wanted to share just a couple of comments that they had in their book that I thought was uh, kind of telling. The first that I came across was um, SEMA claims that belt conveyors have one-tenth the cost of haul trucks when the distance being traveled is greater than 0.6 miles. So SEMA says that conveyor belts cost one-tenth the cost of haul trucks as long as they're conveying a distance of greater than 0.6 miles. They also say that well-maintained conveyor systems can have 90% or higher availability. That means minimal downtime compared to haul trucks. And then finally, they said that conveyor belts have reliability safety, labor costs, power consumption, and maintenance cost advantages over rail or haul conveyors. Now, what this tells us is that conveyor belts are cost effective when moving material compared to the other options.